Hey guys, this is the first episode of my first web series, Browns the Silver Rise from Hello Hell. I've had this account for some time and decided to level it up to 30 and record my ranked games, and then upload their highlights. I'm a main support, and even though I queued as filler, I only got to support on these three games. I played a lot of Soraka before level 30, and I know she's extremely OP, so I decided to keep her. The enemies dual lane had lots of engage. They had an Nautilus with Ignite, so they wanted to kill us early, or they wouldn't be able to do so without help at a later stage of the game. Our jungler, Ekarim, came really early and almost killed one without dying, but wasn't able to do so, so he gave one kill to the, to the enemy team. And this play was pretty much hit. Later, I bait Nautilus. As you'll see, because I know my jungler is coming, and I want them to engage so that they push the lane a lot. Ekorim comes, and then Rice comes to kills one, we go after Nautilus, we get two kills, and we get the lane. Now we have the advantage. Now, as you know, because I got one ass two assists, it's extremely hard for them to come back. Later, we see that the enemy team wants to get Drake. We go after them, we see that Nautilus is doing it, Shackle leaves, Ash still autos it. Nautilus still is at Drake and then we get two kills. Ekarim goes on Shackle and then we as gets Nautilus. Moments later they dive me and almost killed it as I'm able to use ulti. They don't chase after us, but then who comes? Comes, it's LeBlanc, but she can't kill me either. I had like 20 HP. She can't chase after me, she has she's afraid of diving. Then they all come for us. As gets one kill, as gets a second kill and we survive. Ow! Oh, how can that be? Well that was a uh, bronze play. Later we siege inner mid tower, Ekarim goes after Shackle, he dies, but we still get mid tower. As is not in a good spot, he gets picked on by Nautilus, LeBlanc goes after him, he's pretty low, but I try to heal him, but then Ash comes and, well, my cooldown isn't so low. Then we see that As is killed by LeBlanc in the top lane, we go, we try to chase, I use my cooldown to first run, we get a kill on Shackle, then we follow Blank, he's his ult, and then my superior auto attack kills her, the power of the banana. Yeah. Later we siege top tower, as you can see, we are really, really low and to try to get back, but Yasuo stays, he gets engaged on, but yeah, he can kind of outplay him and I can heal him. They still chase us, but well, Rise is really strong. I can heal with them through as, as full HP, gets a kill. Now, this was the play that won us the game. We are all in mid lane, getting ready to siege an inhibitor tower, but before that happens, we get a good engage. Ekarim goes in, pops salty. We get a kill on Nautilus first, Yasu dives in mid turret, gets a pretty good ulti and gets a triple kill. And then, because of what he did, we get the inhibitor and then we get the first nexus tower. And after killing one more of them, two, three of them, we go back. After buying a couple of items, we go back in engage them and this is the play that ends the game. We get a kill, now we take a couple of shots to the last turret, get it and then we win the game and I am on my second game I play support and I picked what? Soraka again because she is extremely OP and I felt like she was perfect for this game. Well, I got distracted watching my jungle mid laner instead of filling my ADC 
And because of that, Poppy dives and kills Jinx. It was my fault that happened, but I still get an awesome kill on Poppy with the help of my beloved friend, the turret. Later, Poppy dives me and I get killed. Later, we get a peek on Vayne and a peek on Poppy. Most because I asked my jungler to gank my lane. Because I was on team speak with him, he was a friend, and I felt like he could help us a lot. Then we get a fight near Drake, and because we had a superior team composition, he got two kills, two one. Then Ryze comes with ulti, I silence him, and he can't cast any spells. We kill him, and we get Drake. Here, my positioning wasn't that good. Poppy comes after me. I'm able to escape, but I don't know why Jinx got picked on. They still try to chase me, but with a few cues, I'm able to repel them. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is the biggest bronze play of the game. Lee stays between turrets, waiting for minions to come to our turret in the so that he can dive us, but then he overstays, Olaf comes and kills them, then Olaf goes for Vayne, I try to help my jungler instead, thinking he can chase Vayne, <laughs> then my jungler goes after Poppy, <laughs> flashes into Pith without knowing where the their team is, but thankfully Shogat was really fed and comes and helps, helps us and we uh, get to win the play. And now, as you'll see, this was a pretty bad play for us. Poppy is able to land a fantastic ulti on our support, me, and gets me off play. I can't heal my teammates, so they kill Jinx and then they kill the jungler and I can't do a thing. Now for another bronze play. What is Poppy doing? I don't know. But she comes in too deep. <laughs> we are three there. We get her. And we go after Vine that uses her whole tip, but Jinx is really fast because of her assist on Poppy. And we go for Lee Sin. He is able to repel us, dodge everything. We still go after him, but when I think, well, no, we shouldn't go after him, we can't, let's do Drake! That's exactly what we did. A few moments later, they try to get a peek on Shogat, but he can use his Zonias, then they run away, our jungler comes, she gets a really awesome ulti, but they flash it. <laughs> Vayne comes after me, I'm able to repel her with a Q, flash it, Jinx gets her, we go after them, and after getting 3 kills, we chase Yorick, a really long chase, Jinx misses a, a roti again, now who gets the kill? Your beloved Soraka, and now this was one of my biggest mistakes that almost cost us the game. They get an engage on me, I almost died, I was able to flash it, Sejuani goes and saves me, I'm able to heal her, and as you can see, because of one heal, Lee can't kill Sejuani, and then we pick one of them. Afterwards, we go for Baron, and contested Baron, as you can see, it was pretty fast because of our dragon buffs. We go for a smooth siege on it with our turrets. In bottom lane, Poppy is able to get rid of Sejuani, but we're still able to engage on them here. My computer almost crashed. We get the peak and we get inhibitor turret. Afterwards we get the peak on Lee Sin, Poppy isn't able to save them. They almost killed 
Jinx, but I'm able to heal her with my ulti. I get a kill, Jinx gets two, three kills, and finally we get the game. For my last game, I get to play what? Soraka again. They. well. It was a pretty horrible game. Their ammo move was really strong. He ganked us a lot, and I died a lot of times in the early game. Well, it wasn't pretty. I know it wasn't. They completely raped us. They played it simple, they played it smooth, and even though we got a few plays, we weren't able to get the game because they, well, they were really fat, they were playing better than us. Really, I feel a lot if I have to give the MVP of a match, it is for Amumu. He was really, really strong. He was the bronze player, not a super player. He was most likely a gold player. And he played with his brain. He got a lot of kills on this. As you can see, I was able to heal my team. And we died one after another. We still wanted to go for Baron. But <laughs> we couldn't because they were really fed. But We're, we still got a few kills and we thought, well, if this goes to late game, maybe we can kill them and win the game because we had a Swain that was almost with his full build he gets a lot of healing from his ulti and my heals because of his spirit visage As you can see, I die in the beginning of this fight, but <laughs> Swain is able to get a lot of kills with uh, Twisted Fate, and we actually won the fight. I don't know how, but we did. We outplayed them, but it still wasn't enough, even though we, tho we thought we uh, were having a comeback. We made a few mistakes afterwards and we still weren't able to finish the game. As you can see, Amumu was landing perfect ulties. Always got at least two of us and we had no chance when he was able to do so. Tristan was able to get a triple and afterwards we lost the game. Well guys, thanks. It was everything for today, I hope you enjoyed it, more videos to come, if you like this, please subscribe, if you didn't, well, subscribe it anyway, hopefully my next videos will be a lot better when I'm able to edit them with higher quality, well, see you guys, see you next time.